Hello. Hello. That's all I do. Hello. So, how's everybody? Good. I don't really care. But at least, you, at least you're trying to be honest and tell me. Because a lot of the time people lie, you know, about that kind of stuff. You know, when you meet somebody in the street and you go, how, how are you doing? And they say, oh, I'm fine. How are you? And you say, oh, I'm fine. And then you say, see ya. Because you can't really be fucked with human communication most of the time. <laughs> and then if you tell people the truth, they often get upset. Because if you meet somebody and they go, how are you going? How are you, how are you doing? And you say, oh, I'm terrible. I have piles. <laughs> My skin is falling off in huge lumps. I, I, I live with an old woman I don't really know underground. And uh, we suck stones for money. I... I <laughs> I have an incredibly rare leg disease, and I, uh, my incredible collection of bonsai trees was wiped out today. Everything is unbelievably shit, and I want to die. <laughs> what would they say? You know, they'll, they'll just go, ah, okay, see ya. You know, they can't really deal with it. Anyway, some of you, some of you, I see some of you are, are young people. You sneak, snuck in here tonight, young people. And I must say, I, I don't like you, because I'm supposed to be sort of supposed to be sort of young. And I don't like young people. You know, they're icky and they, they run around too quickly. I don't <laughs> trust anything that moves that fast. And they, they, they are, I don't really understand the culture either because young people go to these rave things, you know, this buff, 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 buff. There's music, apparently there's music. To me it sounds like a lot of people putting up shelves. And they go and they, they dance for eight or ten days at a time without speaking, you know, and they perspire five times their own body weight. And then they go home alone because they're too fucked to do anything else. So, you know, when I was growing up, it was a social thing. You would get into your van, very, very drunk, find most of your friends by knocking them down, then you put them in the back and go and look for the local dance, which is behind a tree or a wall. And you go in there and go up to the nearest woman, and if she's not cross-eyed, you vomit on her. And then she's yours for life. It's a kind of a ritual thing. And sometimes you see the unlucky guy who goes up to the cross-eyed woman, and he doesn't get away in time, and she vomits on him. And then they have lots of kids running around diagonally. But it was a system, that's my point. Anyway, I'm, um, I'm, I'm a man and everything, you know, and um, either that or a woman who's really let herself go. And, and, uh, it's not easy being a man. No, no. I had to get dressed today. And there are other pressures. And the, men get a, get a very hard time in the, in the female media. You go to a woman's magazine, they're always doing these surveys, you know, in between the ads for al al alligator bath mats and... Chanel ear loops, and they put in the um, you know surveys. What do you want from a man? And women always come out with the same kind of thing. You know, they go, oh, I don't know, just some kind of physical, psychical, intellectual melding, really. <laughs> Where you get that oceanic feeling, and you can create an environment where child rearing and continual exploration of the existent relationship is still possible. <laughs> That'll be okay. And then they go to guys, and invariably go, they go to some fuck clump called Wayne, and they. It was a, <laughs> How about you then, huh? And he goes, oh, I don't know, ha, 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 knockers, way! <laughs> and maybe some of those crisps taste a bit like pizza, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Not all men are like that. I know two guys in Spain. And the, the other pressure on men comes from male media. You know, you get a lot of stuff from, you know, GQ and Broom and Trousers, all that stuff. And they, <laughs> Intimidating stuff like, you know, health, wealth, style, success, all those intimidating articles like brush your teeth and your hair. Ah, fuck off. And, they, <laughs> they, and there's a big, um, a big health scare on for men as well for testicular cancer. You know, that, women don't get that so much. That is a, a very scary thing there because you, you have to look for a lump in a, in a, a bag of lumps. And that, that can take a long time. And you... you you have to, you know, and it's very, you, you can't tell anybody if you find anything because you know what will happen. They lift you through the streets going, lump, 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 and throw you in prison. And then little men will come in and beat you with waffles. <laughs> that's what happens. They cover it up, but that's what happens. And they, <laughs> it's a very difficult thing to do because, you know, you're a man and you have to touch yourself to examine yourself. And as a man, you're designed to be aroused by most naturally occurring phenomena on the planet. You know, you're, See a big bag of wheat or a bit of falling masonry, that can get you going. So, to <laughs> actually, actually, touch yourself it can be very dangerous. You're going to have 30 erections and pass out in the street. And it's, um, <laughs> it's incredible what men will interpret as sexual, though, you know. D did you see the way she looked at me before she told me to fuck off? Anything. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. 
women talk a lot more about various things. They ring one another up and say, let's go into town and talk. And that's all they do. They don't exchange money or car parts or anything. And they... And, <laughs> and, and, men get worried about all that kind of thing. Because men don't really talk about a lot of stuff because they're trying to, you know, be achieving and successful all the time and they just go around going, okay, I have to merge with Japan, I have to merge with Japan, merge. And every now and again they'll kind of feel weird and grab their best friend and say, you know, sometimes I feel a bit funny. <laughs> don't tell anybody, will you? Merge, 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 merge. And that goes on for a couple of years and then they have a breakdown and they, you know, they lose it and they just go, I don't, I don't, I can't do anything anymore. I just want to be a buttercup. And then, <laughs> And somebody comes along and helps them out and they get back on their feet and they're okay. But a woman can do that in the morning. <laughs> and, and, and still have time to go to work and fire somebody. But then... <laughs> and, and women pick up on things in a completely different way as well, you know, and, and men get alienated by that because women will say things like, Oh, I knew she was depressed. Why? She didn't finish her tea. <laughs> men need more, you know. I knew he was a bit off fly, his head was on fire. Ah. <laughs> you, do, you do lie a lot, you know, cover up things as, as a human being. It's part of being an adult, because that's, you know, some of the phone rings, you pick it up and you go, Oh, it's you, I'm so pleased. Oh, well, let's have lunch. Two lunches, dinner, a buffet. Then you put down the phone and you go, What a c. <laughs> <laughs> Children don't do that. Children don't bother lying. They're much more sophisticated in a way. If they don't like something, they just go around going, I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored. You know who you are, you're boring. And if they like you, they'll go up and say, you smell nice, can I stay in your house for two weeks? And then... <laughs> And old people don't lie as much either, because nobody really asks them anything, because they just kind of go, blah, 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 and you don't know whether they're having a good time or being bitten. And <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm quite looking forward to being old, just so I can be with my son or daughter in a restaurant and lean over every now and again and just say, you know what I just did? I just pissed myself. <laughs> you deal with it. That must be. That must be kind of liberating. But um. That's all for me. Thank you very much, Paul.